Hello everybody, I hope you're well, whether you're in school or at home. Um, in my assembly today, I'm just sharing a book with you. Um, a book that I discovered and I loved. I love the illustrations and I love the story. It's about keeping secrets and it's about saying that actually sometimes secrets can be too stressful if you keep them to, to yourself and that you need to share them. Uh, that's the message, I think, of the book. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Um, take lots of care and I'll see you soon. Bye! The Wolf's Secret Written by Miriam Daman and Nicolas Digard and illustrated by Julia Sada. And there you can see it again. A nice stylized picture. Fantastic illustrations in this book. Far, far away in the north there was a forest, deep and forgotten. Old pines wrapped around each other, protecting its mystery. Over the treetops loomed a mountain, and from the midst of the branches came a never-ending whisper. In this forest lived a wolf. His fur was dark like tree bark after the rain. His eyes were golden like the rising moon. He was the biggest wolf ever born, and all the animals of the forest feared him. But this wolf had a secret. In a clearing in the middle of the forest, where the sun lingered on the ferns and the forest floor was sprinkled with wildflowers, stood a wooden house, and in it lived a young woman. Her hair was dark like the woods and wild like the grass. In the depths of her amber eyes, the wolf sensed a tenderness that touched his heart. Every morning, the young woman crossed the clearing and walked to a well hidden in the forest. She sang while she filled up a bucket, her voice fresher than the morning dew, brighter than starlight. And every morning, the wolf came in secret to the edge of the forest to listen. In these moments, time slowed down and a ray of sunlight shone into his heart. When her bucket was full, the young woman returned to the house where her father lay sick in bed. She held his hand and sang again her voice as soft as the scent of flowers, as warm as a summer breeze, and the wolf left the clearing to hunt in the forest. But one morning, the young woman didn't come to the well. The wolf waited and waited. Staying in the shadows, he crept towards the house. He saw the young woman crying. Her father's bed was empty, and his hunter's heart filled with sadness. Days flew by, but there were no more songs or music in the wolf's life. He yearned to hear the young woman sing again. He longed to be able to talk to her. He continued to hunt a shadow in a silent world, but his heart was hollow. Then one night, deep in the forest, the wolf captured a rabbit. Just as he was lowering his jaw towards his prey, he heard a voice. Set me free, it said, and in return I will help you. I know your sorrow. The wolf lifted his, lifted his paw and the rabbit changed into a wizard with gentle eyes and a beard made of autumn leaves. Follow the music, said the wizard. It will lead you to your heart's desire. But remember, every choice has a consequence. The wind rose and the wizard vanished in a swirl of red leaves. And now a strange melody reached the wolf's ears. It was different from the usual sounds of the forest. The field mouse hopping over the leaves, the hooting of the owl, or the squirrel's claws scratching the bark. It was a sad and fragile chant he had never heard before. He followed the music, searching for its source. The wolf journeyed deeper into the forest. The further he went, the more tangled grew the trees, the more impenetrable the brambles. He crossed the border of his territory and climbed the mountain beyond. The wolf had never ventured this far. He slowed his pace, aware of every sound and smell. Suddenly, as the wolf neared the summit, an immense shadow flew over him, obscuring the, view the sun. It was Aquila, the great eagle. As the wolf was prince of the forest, Aquila was queen of the sky. Her bill was hard like rock, her talons sharp like fangs. The wolf stood still. He waited all night in silence. At dawn the shadow passed over him again. Aquila had left to hunt. And the wolf continued to climb. 
When he finally arrived at the top, the wolf found himself at the edge of a huge nest. In the middle was a giant egg, its shell glowing like the moon. Attached to the egg was a leather strap. The wolf put his head through it, the strap tightened round his neck, and the egg shrank to the size of a tiny bell. The talisman bell jingled softly, like an echo of the music that had guided him before. At dusk the wolf returned to the house in the wood. He saw a fire dancing in the hearth. The young woman sat in front of it, her back towards him. The talisman jingled again. For the first time the wolf knew he could speak. Promise me you will never turn around, he said. His voice was calm and gentle, no longer the growl of a wolf. I have watched you for a long time and your presence fills me with joy. I hear your songs and my heart dances. I listen to your voice and my days brighten. My only wish is to hear you sing again. The young woman did not turn around. I would gladly sing for you, she answered, but I'm so sad and so lonely. You need never be lonely again, said the wolf. I will tell you the tales of the forest, the mysteries of the trees and the beasts. Only promise me you will never turn around. I promise, said the young woman. For seven days the wolf listened to this young woman singing. Sometimes her songs were sad and melancholic, sometimes full of joy and hope. In return, he told her the legends of the dark f of the forest, the sorcerer who changed into an oak tree, the owl that flew so high it caught a shard of moon in each eye, the stag with the wooden crown who used to be a prince. There was only one story the wolf kept for himself, the story of the talisman bell he wore around his neck. For seven nights the wolf let the house, left the house to hunt, but with every step he took the bell around his neck jingled loudly, announcing his presence. Animals heard him coming and fled. The forest became as empty as a desert, but the wolf didn't care as his heart was full of love and his soul better fed by this new joy than by the meat of any rabbit or deer. And every day the wolf grew thinner. On the eighth day, as he was telling a tale, the wolf collapsed. All strength had left his body. When he woke up, the young woman was sitting beside him. The wolf tried to speak, but the sound came out as a growl. The talisman was gone from his neck. He had lost the power to speak. Then he saw the young woman was wearing the amulet around her neck. A smile lit up her face. When she opened her mouth, she spoke in his own wolf language. A secret is lighter when you carry it together. In her eyes was an infinite tenderness, and her voice combined with the talisman's music was as an enchanting melody. Far, far away in the north, there was a forest, deep and forgotten. Old pines wrapped around each other, protecting its mysteries. Sorcerers who changed into leaves, giant eagles who laid magic eggs, and a young woman who could speak with a wolf. Thank you for listening.